Hello friends. Today let us start the lecture session by doing some simple problems uh, on power absorbed and power generated, the concept which you have learned in the previous lecture. Uh, after this we will be doing uh, a small discussion on uh, voltage and current sources. So let us start with the simple problem. Here. Now, in this question, the first question, let me mark it as A, this is B and this is C. In question number A, they have given the circuit element here and they have given the current direction, they have given the voltage uh, signs as well. So they have asked what is the power absorbed by the circuit element. So power absorbed, let us see the sign convention. So you can clearly see they have put the arrow in this side, they have not put it here. But anyway, if we just go back, you can see that the current has come from here and then it has come here, right? So the current is entering the current is entering the the current is entering the positive terminal. Yeah, current is entering the positive terminal. Okay, current is entering the positive terminal means what? It is absorbing power. So put a plus sign. Here. So what is the voltage value? This is 220 millivolts. And what is the current value? This 4.6 amperes. Okay. So if you multiply 220 millivolts, uh, millivolts and uh, 4.6 ampere, you will get a value of 1.012 watts. Or you can just directly put this value in milliwatts as well. So let us take the next question here. They have asked what is the current uh, power generated by the element. So you can clearly see that the given current direction is like this. Okay, so it is going to continue like this and it is coming out of the positive terminal. Okay, so it is coming out of the positive terminal. It means as per sign convention, because the current is coming out of the positive terminal, we have to put a plus sign. And what is the voltage given? It is minus 3.8. And what is the current value given? It is minus 1.75 amperes. Don't bother changing any negative values and positive values. Reverse change current, reverse voltage. You don't have to do anything of that, anything of that sort. So it is plus 6.65 watts. The third question, let us see what is happening here. It is the question is what is the power being delivered to the element? It means that somebody is delivering the power to the element. That means it must be absorbing power, right? The material is getting the power. So they have just framed the question in a different manner, but ultimately it is what is the absorbed power. So power absorbed in this case, what is the voltage? 8 e power minus 100 t. So here you put a plus sign here because current is entering the positive terminal, power absorbed is positive, multiplied by 3.2. They have asked that T is equal to 5 seconds. So just put T is equal to 5 seconds, put this in your calculator. So in this case you will be getting a value of plus 15.53 watts. Let us take the same question and put me D here. Let us take the same question, let us just say in the values here. So this is 8 e power minus 100 t. Current has the same direction 3.2 amperes. Okay. So the same question I have just uh, changed the current uh, voltage directions. In this case power absorbed. Let us see what is the sign convention going to sell, tell to us. So in this case the current is leaving the positive terminal. Okay. Current is leaving the positive terminal. That means the power absorbed will have a negative sign. Okay. And then you multiply 8 e power minus 100 t multiplied by 3.2 amperes. 3.2 amperes and you will get minus 15.53 watts. So I hope you have understood these problems. And let us move to the next session. Voltage and current sources. By this time we have already seen the definition of voltage, what is the voltage, uh, what is the current and all those things. Now it is a time to give a formal definition of the word circuit element. I have used circuit element, element, all these things, all these uh, terminologies in the uh, past two lectures. So give, let us give a more uh, formal definition. So circuit element is actually a mathematical model. It is a mathematical model of a two terminal, of a two terminal electrical device. 
okay yes. you should understand that it is only a mathematical but it is an approximate representation so and this also has a voltage and current relationship so the circuit element is characterized by a voltage and current relationship now if the voltage and current relationship voltage versus vi for example it's linear then you say that the circuit element is a resistor the voltage is a function the derivative of the current okay then you call it as an inductor inductors and capacitors will come in the time domain uh, area of the course and if voltage is the integral of the current we call it as capacitor other than these circuit elements voltage inductors and capacitors you have voltage sources and current sources okay you have voltage sources and current sources so let me go to the next uh, area here and uh, let me put up a general classification so sources as such is divided into independent and dependent so you have independent sources and you have dependent sources so in independent sources you have voltage source and you have current source in dependent sources also you have voltage dependent sources and you have current dependent sources so let's take the first independent voltage source so independent voltage source so what is an independent voltage source an independent voltage source is a source in which the voltage at the terminal is independent of the current flowing through it okay so the voltage is independent of the current flowing through it you should understand that such things might not be uh, physically available as such but these are enough to do a lot of linear analysis so this is the representation of a independent voltage source you have the voltage vs okay. so what is the characteristic the characteristic tells us that whatever be the current through the element the voltage is always constant it means that in theory it can deliver infinite power because power is equal to v into i so whatever be the current value the voltage is not going to change okay so it will be can theoretically give infinite power so of course that is not possible but this is the linearity which we are using here so the independent voltage source is a voltage source is a source which is independent of the current flowing through the uh, element so let us draw some more sources here this is a voltage source this is a dc voltage source this is a battery yes yes and this my friends is an ac voltage source this also will come in this course so this is a ac voltage source all right now sec let us take the second one here current source a current source is a type of source in which the current current is independent of the voltage current is independent of the voltage across so the representation of the current source is something like this okay this current is i so the voltage current characteristics is some like this let this be the voltage so any terminal voltage here this is the current so for if this is the value of the current source for any voltage source the current will be always same so in theory this also can deliver infinite power in the next session we will be uh, defining what is a uh, dependent voltage source and dependent current source and we will be doing problems associated with uh, bringing all these elements together 
Till now, we, we, the circuit element was a black box to us. We didn't know what was there. In this, we are given a formal definition. The next lecture, we will be defining dependent voltage source, dependent current source, and we will be doing a lot of problems of power absorption, etc., with including all these elements. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.